Hey guys, James back here with Oklahoma State Knives. Today I am going to be doing a little knife review slash educational video again. So let's just jump right into this. As you guys can see, I got these just on a couple little boxes to hold them up. But as you guys can see, the CR. And for you knife nuts out there, everybody knows what CR stands for. It stands for Chris Reeve. Making very expensive knives for a very long time. But let's jump into this. This is a large Sabenza as well, along with this one as well. They are both large Sabenza knives. This one has a very unique design. I did buy these knives used, so they are scratched up and they have been used. But let's get back into this. The CR on these is kind of wearing off, but there's a reason for that, and I'll get into that very shortly. But blades, they seem to be centered pretty well. Everything seems to be very well made. I think this is just a cheap plastic. Normally that would be bone or wood if this was an actual Chris Reeve. Now that's what I'm going to get into you guys. Let's open up this blade. Knife appears to be unsharpened. It's a nice little liner lock. Very smooth action. Very, very smooth. Now let's look right here. For you knife nuts out here, out there, you would know this. A Chris Reeve, an authentic Chris Reeve, is, has always got a date code in here, in these little slots. Regardless, there is always a date code for a real Chris Reeve. Now, a Chinese clone, on the other hand, does not have date codes. And as you guys can see, there is no date code whatsoever. So, meaning this is a cheap Chinese clone. So, let's move on to this next one. Same style, just different layout. This one has like bone or plastic inlays. It's not bone or anything. This one, on the other hand, has a very unique design. Kind of colorful. The CR is kind of rubbing off. It's normally Chris Reeve stamps his in. This is very lightly etched. But again, you guys, it's a very smooth opening knife. Very, very smooth. Liner lock as well. Check that out, you guys. Blade is centered. There's no titanium screws. This is not a titanium frame at all. It's got way too much weight to it. I'm not 100% sure of what kind of steel they're using, but it is super sharp. Now let's look in here. Get this to focus. There we go. And check that out, you guys. There is no day code whatsoever. You can see the glare off of the back end of the hat too. But there is no day code. So meaning this one is a Chinese, I guess you could say clone of the Chris Reeve Sabenza. Now you can pick this knife up on websites for, whoa I'm already dropping it. You can pick this knife up on certain websites for around I'm gonna say 45 to 50 bucks. If you go through some other websites, it can cost more. But comparison this to a authentic Chris Reeve, an authentic Chris Reeve is about four hundred and fifty dollars to five hundred dollars. Comparing it to this, of course, you do not have Chris Reeve quality with this knife. But if you just want to be cool, say that you have a Chris Reeve, you can pick this up for forty-five or fifty bucks. If you don't want to damage an actual Chris Reeve and you just like the design. There is a uh, Saranmu or Saranzu or whatever that design is called. I don't like their knives just because they seem a whole lot cheaper than this knife is. Of course, it's made in China as well. But for the price of $45 or $50, you guys cannot go wrong, especially if you like this design. It seems very durable. It's a very smooth opening knife. It would last you for quite some time. It feels good. I got pretty big hands, and this actually fits my hand pretty well. This is a larger this is the large Sabenza, by the way. And again, I'm not 100% sure of what steel they are using. I'm going to say it's probably 440C type of steel. It does hold a really good edge. It is super sharp. Again, the action is super smooth. So $45 or $50, you guys can pick up a Chinese clone that would serve your purpose in everyday use. But if you really want to go out and spend $450, $500, for a actual Chris Reeve and carry it, I would not suggest that in case it gets lost or something. You can manage to lose this. 
you can't manage to lose a $500 knife. But there you guys go. That's a quick way to tell the difference of a real and fake Chris Reeve. He makes amazing knives. I do. I have owned several in the past. I do not own any right now. I just picked up these clones today. I actually just got them in the mail just for this little knife review. But anyway, you guys, if this did help you in some way, please, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, comment, like the video. And if you guys have any, any, any type of info for me on knives specifically, please drop a comment below. I will gladly listen. Uh, I'm all the time wanting to learn new stuff about knives. So this can be an educational video for the both of us. Again, you guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.